All right. Hey, it's good to see everybody. Not really see each other, but we're here anyway, together right online. I have a couple of things I want to talk to you about with reference to our church reassembling, reopening, whatever you want to say. It's not really a reopening. It's we've always been together as far as our drive-in is concerned. Uh, we have not stopped since the very beginning. We've always come together. And the amazing thing about that is in 10 weeks, we've never had a single case of COVID-19, not a single case, not an association with the church. No one has gotten sick. And the reason I think is twofold. First, God protects people who want to do right, number one. And number two, we've listened to the governor. You know, these are some of the mandates that the governor has given, and we have listened to him in every respect. I believe that obeying is so important. You know, as we get ready to open up, I want to go ahead and do it this Sunday. I think that's uh, Friday night. They're going to go ahead and have Reformers Unanimous together. We're going to abide by the amount of people together. We're going to make sure that everyone is separate from one another. Uh, We have a couple of things I want to tell you about with reference to the future, but also to know this. Our social distancing protocol at First Baptist will deal with if you have a fever or any symptoms or signs of COVID, we're going to ask you to stay home. We'll refrain from handshaking and hugging or any of that. We want you to wear a mask. We want the sanctuary and the restrooms. So we're all going to be clean from CDC standards. The uh, Center for Disease Control has given us some standards that we needed to set, and we've uh, taken those standards seriously. Ushers will assist in closing and opening doors. The water fountains will not be available. You can bring your own water. Of course, restrooms will be available. Seating with coordinated to follow to that six-foot uh, social distancing protocol. We'll make sure that that's all taken care of. The designating seating area will be provided for elderly as well as those that have children. Uh, And that generally will be in the back part of the auditorium. This will be the back of our uh, overflow area. There will be no Sunday school class, choir practices, other group events for now, including junior church at 11, other children's ministry. Songbooks will not be used. We'll be reading right from the... I love the screen. I love all the colors, all the beauty. Uh, And Thomas is really working hard on Memorial Day thing and I'm excited about that. The contributions will be placed in uh, the designated boxes that we've been using with the polls. The observance of communion and that kind of thing will be done in a very different way as well. And I'll tell you more about that in the future. There will be a waiver of liability and assumption of risk uh, page that you can look at and peruse. It's really no big deal, but it's important to us as a church that we have peace, and so that will give us peace. Exciting future at First Baptist Church. We're going to just start this Sunday with Sunday school, and uh, you're going to allow. We're going to allow you to come. We're going to allow you to be inside. Uh, there is a limit, the thirty percent of our capacity. I think probably almost everybody that wants to come in will be able to, but you can stay in your cars and drive in as well, or you can see it online. Whatever you want to do, options are open to you. The buildings are going to be cleaner than any building in Sussex County. You already know that. And of course, it's probably, <laughs> I think about Bayview and First Baptist watching this and others, and they're probably saying, no, our building is cleaner. In any case, it'll be good. Uh, we believe we will have services all day Being together as a church is important, and the protocol for the blessings of this are only because of staying wise and staying where we ought to be. We need to do that. Options remain open. You can enjoy the services from your car. As I've said, there'll be the radio broadcasting and all that going on as well. Reform is unanimous is this Friday, 7 o'clock, and it will be in person. There will be maybe 16, 18 people is all way, way below the uh, 30% capacity, and uh, we'd be glad to have you in. Memorial Day is going to be exciting. All the colors, all the beauty, all the all the uh, glory of the Memorial Day time, uh, and your choice to come and worship in these areas, whether in drive-in or in uh, regular in-person services, up to you. Ten o'clock, eleven o'clock, six o'clock. You are all welcome, and you all will be safe because of these protocols that we're setting forth. Please don't forget your mask. Please make sure that you have your mask. And uh, we will, on June the 21st, be having baptisms. Father's Day is going to be awesome. Brother Earl told me about these awesome gifts that we're going to be able to give on Father's Day. Tremendous. You saw how beautiful the gifts were that we gave for Mother's Day. But Father's Day is going to be something really to behold. I'm excited about that. Uh, The meeting of the 12th this Sunday at 4.30 as well. May the 28th, graduation for the Atlantic Coast Baptist College. 
I believe that we can do that actually in person if he desires to do so. We'll be talking more with Dr. Bruce about that. Also, we want to announce that Castle Chronicles is on for the girls. Splat is on for the girls. Uh, a lot of activities are coming up, but they're mostly online, okay? But uh, yes, we do have evangelism videos for fruit bearers and PSCTC for devotions every day. We want you to be a part of anything that you desire to be, and you can do it in your own way. Again, now, you don't have to come in person, but you are invited. And those who are elderly, I see Wendy uh, Bovier is on here, Bonnie Bovier is on here. Listen, you can do whatever you want, whether it's in person, whether it's in the car, whether it's inside, and you will have a designated place for safety. And uh, there will be six-foot designations. They'll be taped off everything according to what the governor has said. And so consider these things, understand these things. We do have his guidelines. We're following to the T. And I believe that we will continue our 10-week streak of not having a single case, not even a case, not even a sniffle of COVID-19 in our church. I'm grateful for that. Among some three, sometimes 400 people that, uh, as you know, in the in what I'm talking about is over the three months. At any given time, it's only about 200, 150. Last Sunday, I think there was only 117 in the morning, maybe 140 or 50 throughout the day. It was, all, it was kind of a low day. But among all of those, no one has gotten sick ever. And so I'm grateful for that. Hey, have a good one. Share this with everyone. Share, share, share with everybody in church. Please, Michaela uh, Gillespie, share. Marion, share. Richard, share. Bonnie, share with everybody that you know so that everyone can get this video and know this Sunday, 10 o'clock, we're open. All right? 11 o'clock, we're open. At 6 o'clock, we're open here at church. And uh, and all of those times, of course, with the limits, with the 30% capacity and all the options still available of drive-in service outside and uh, being able to see at home as well. God bless.